Hello everyone, Daniel here. So, as you know, drones have been used in a lot of various different industries in today's game. But, you may ask yourself, which drone should I use? So, here, here I am going to teach you on which drone that you should choose for your specific line of work. So, here we have all different sorts of DJI Enterprise drones. We have the Phantom 4 RTK, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, and the new Matrix 30. So let's take a look at each of these drones and see what line of work that they are actually suitable for. So first we are going to take a look at the Phantom 4 RTK. So the main purpose of this drone is to basically do mapping operations. So mapping operations comprises that the drone will fly up, up to the air and then flies automatically taking photos for a 2D or 3D photogrammetry operation. So as you can see at the top here, it has an, an RTK module. So it's different from the normal Phantom 4 where it doesn't have this uh, module. So this RTK module is basically used to correct the, correct the GPS timestamp on the photos that have been taken using the camera. This makes the Phantom 4 RTK suitable for every sort of mapping operations, especially if you want to get a very accurate GPS mapping okay so next what we're going to take a look at is the Mavic 2 Enterprise so basically in terms of design it's the same as your classic Mavic 2 Mavic 2 zoom and everything but it has a, a, a little bit more changes to the normal Mavic 2 for starters we have a different camera module as you can see we have the standard camera that is used for every single Mavic 2 and then we also have a thermal camera that can be used for different industries such as uh, solar panel inspections, cell tower inspections and, and many more. It can also be used for other industries especially during night operations. As you can see at the top here, we have a spotlight accessory attached to the top of the Mavic 2. The Mavic 2 Enterprise comes with two other accessories such as the beacon and also the speaker. The speaker can be used for public safety operations and search and rescue while the beacon can be used for any sort of uh, operations that require people to locate the drone, especially at night. And lastly, we are going to take a look at the new Matrix 30T. So the Matrix 30T stands for the Matrix 30, with the T at the back stands for the thermal camera that has been attached on the H20T camera that has been already pre-installed on the Matrix 30. So the Matrix 30 is, can be used for a lot of different types of operations. Firstly, uh, you, it can be used for mapping, but it's not as uh, important or applicable as its other, other forms of operations, such as search and rescue, uh, solar panel inspection, cell tower inspection, power light inspection, uh, energy, energy analysis, and more. Uh, one of the main features is that it can be attached, it can also be used for public safety and search and rescue as it can be attached with speaker and spotlight attachments on the top of this on the top of its head. Other than that, it can also be used for measuring measurement, sur surveillance and tracking as it also has an artificial intelligence tracking system and a laser range finder here which can estimate the distance between the drone and the subject that you want to estimate. It can also be used for any sort of solar panel inspection and any sort of thermal inspection as it also has been equipped with a thermal camera. Other than that, it can also be used for, uh, for surveillance operation as it can actually zoom for up to 200 times so that you can just actually just fly very far away from the subject while still be able to track them. So as you can see, each type of drones have different sort of roles and the type of operations that you can actually use them. Be sure that you actually come to us and we are prepared to actually consult you on which drone is actually the best suited for you for your line of work. See you in the next video.